Okay, guys, I'm here today with the legend Demi Amaya, huge honor for me. Guys, today Demi is going to show us here the best submission from the back for MMA, which is called the Maya Leon. <laughs> so, guys, it's a, it's, a, it's a way to do the here neck choke, the Mata Leon, but on a very different version that he used, and it was because the gloves, right? Over there. Yeah, it was because the gloves, I started to do that because I was having trouble in submitting. Then when I have my fight with Matt Brown in Brazil, I was able to do that, and then also when I had my fight with Ben Askren in You're Singapore, I was able to do the same one. So Guys, make sure to check this out. This is amazing. Let's do it then. So I will show here because it's easy to do the importance of the head fight, hand fighting here. So I'm here in, in, in you know, kind of trying to choke him. So when I try to choke, normally let's say I'm in, in holding the bottom hand here, and I'm trying to choke him here, okay? So first thing I'm gonna do, instead of just pull here, because you're gonna, you're gonna close your chin, right, first, and I'm gonna pull down, yeah. I, I don't have power here, pull, push down, pull, yeah, here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bend back here, you see? Here, pull down now. There's no way. No way, it's like a... Yeah. a, a, a you have blow. a lot more strength Much towards more. this direction. Of course, I don't wanna relax direction. here, then you, you do like the arm bar here. Over yeah, there. yeah. So I wanna be my arm bended here, but I just pull here. And then I'm gonna get here and align your, close your chin. Cause the guy will close the chin. So I'm gonna just align your chin with my- Forearm. My, yeah, my elbow actually. Okay. Turn your chin now. There's no way. Yeah. Turn, turn, no. Yeah. This hand is not effective anymore, right? No. But at the same time, I cannot choke you because I don't have power to choke you over your chin just with one hand. Yeah. And we need both. What's the problem now that everybody faces? When I release this hand, you go right away to my hand. And then you pull this down. Yes. And it's over. And then you lost the position. Right? So I need to be aware to use the hand fighting, which is, so he holds here, I pull, and then let's say I'm able to align, close the chin. If I get under the chin, open the chin. If I get under the chin, then I can choke with just one hand. Yes. Right? I just grab really, really tight behind. Yeah, but now most people, you know, experienced people will close the chin, right? Yes, yes. This hand is not effective too much, right? Yeah. But this one will be once I release. So once I release, I know that I go around to your thumb. Yes. Open the pillow. Yeah. Open, oh, sorry. And push here like, a, you know, like I'm pushing uh, your thumb here, right? Yeah, yeah. Still this hand has a little power. I can pull this hand here yeah you can come back with the over, over yeah come back now can you come back with this one it's hard the other one yeah and if you come you know i will stay here in this fight here till i'm able to hold my triceps on the other side and now the most important i cannot put pressure here with my head up there's no pressure here you see the head is the most important so once i get here my head goes down here and then i go Oh my god, man. <laughs> it looks like my cheese gonna explode. <laughs> oh my god. It's One like, more time, Dan? Yeah, it's like a, start on the job, but you're gonna, f you know, end up sleeping yeah. if you resist. Yeah, but there's so much pressure yeah, on the next It's actually. important the adjustment with the head. I teach that for many people, they don't know how to adjust the head and they end up losing the position. Yeah. Right? So the thing is, so you have your hand holding my hand. Yeah. And you have your chin closed. This hand I'm kind of able to kind of you know control. Then I pull this one and I'm gonna align. You're gonna say okay, because my chin is closed, and I cannot choke you here, right? Yeah. It's very hard. Once I release this, you're gonna go right away here to my hand. If yeah. I stay here, you're gonna pull and I'm gonna be able to defend. So I push down. You clean by the time. Yeah. And then I once I push here, I pull this one too, and come back to here. Yeah. So you're almost like hugging or hugging, or... exactly. The most important here, when you're tired, when you're in the middle of the rush, you wanna just put pressure here and you release that. The head. Yeah, and yeah, and there's no, you see, there's no pressure. Yeah, so you gotta keep your... Oh. No pressure, no, no. Look, I'm gonna fall to the side. No rush here. Look, I adjust my head. Look now. 
Man, that's amazing. It's very hard, right? That's incredible. Looks like my jaw is gonna explode. And I can feel the pressure on my neck as well. Exactly. One thing that is important is why, why once I'm here, this holder with this hand here, yeah, and I release here. Uh, he wants to grab my hand. So my attacking hand is what, what I want to protect. So when I push and peel here, I want to cover this hand. I don't want to let this hand free. That's why I use my forearm, my armpit. Right? Oh, it's too late if I press my yeah, hand here. Now right? I adjust my hand. Good. Oh nice my God. Man, yeah, that's incredible. Okay. Why I start to do that? Because with the glove, sometimes it's too hard to, pass the, to get Matalion and people are holding the hand. So what's the principle? I need to protect my attacking hand. Okay. Right? So if I pass my hand, even if it's over your jaw, because you know, when the guy is good, he will put place yeah. the jaw. Yeah. Sometimes you can get under, which is perfect. But once you get, if you get under, you can, you're able to choke with just one hand. Yeah. If you get over, you will yeah. need... So it's two. almost like you have two obstacles. One, it's the person blocking your arm. And second one is the chain. So exactly. doing that, you overcome those two obstacles. Yeah, and, and plus you, you protect your hand. Yeah. Because that's the thing that people don't understand. Let me do, like, let's say I fell to the side here. Let me see. I, I was able to align. The most important thing is like, I want to align, close your chin. I want to align your chin with my elbow. See, you point in the yeah. same direction, yeah. right? So the thing that people miss here is when he, they release here, let me take out, to try to do something, he will go with both hands on my hand and he, yeah. there's no way I'm gonna fight that. Yeah. There's no time sometimes you close here, like I said, with the big gloves, sometimes you get stuck in here and you, yeah. you miss. So that's why I want to think a way. Maybe two, one, two, two three. three. And two back over. Back. Now you're going to go in this hand here. Even if you go and in this hand, I still choke with the... Because then I have this one to help me here or here. Man, okay. that's incredible. And it's amazing to see like how good you are with the fundamentals and principles, but also how good you are with the details, you know, like, because uh -huh. sometimes watching from outside, looks like you're just like, there's so many details in this journey. Yeah. That I think exactly. that's what makes the position so efficient. Yeah, yeah, for sure is, you know, there's details that people don't, don't realize, but it's years of years of training yeah. that you start to adjust, you see what, what works, what doesn't work, yeah. and you, Get better, on but it's cool that you are being able now after retiring to break down those principles and those details uh, on a way that everybody can do, kind of. Yeah, because I always been studying, but yeah. before I just don't want to show. Yeah, you're you know, just I like studying and using my, yeah, my yeah. opponents to know how to defend. <laughs> yeah. So now, you know, I don't care. I just want to teach everybody. Uh, that's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So guys, Daniel has an entire structure all about submissions from the back at bjjfanatics.com. He shows submissions for Jiu-Jitsu, submissions for MMA, and all about submissions. So it's probably like one of the best instructors about instructions about submissions from the back. Make sure to check that out. It's at bjjfanatics.com. And thanks so much, Damian. Thank you, Bernardo. Thank, Thank you. you guys for watching. Awesome. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.